वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड दिस इज एंगुलर प्लस लेवल ऑथेंटिकेशन सीरीज एंड वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द पासवर्ड रीसेट सिस्टम सो वी हैव डन दिस फ्रंट एंड पार्ट दैट मीन्स वेन एवर वी टाइप द ई मेल हेयर एंड क्लिक ऑन द सेंड बटन वी विल गिव अ रिक्वेस्ट अ पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट सो लेट्स ओपन द कंसोल एंड हिट सेंड सो इट शुड सेंड द पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू आर न्यू ए पी आई विच इज लाइक दिस वन uh api send password reset link this post request we have sent okay but this will not going to work here why and what we need to do after we get the email all these things in this episode so let's start and go to vs code on the front end source app component we have this password and reset password html and here we will submit the form and when the form submits we are having these things so this is good and now on this reset request reset dot component dot ts we are having these kind of things but here we have some kind of error s notify module so the problem here is that it's not s notify module it's s notify service so we need to import service not module so let's now see here it's not module only service okay so now error is gone so when on the on submit function we have then we are using jarvis service to send this send password reset link which is actually giving a post request to this route which we have defined on the laravel and then we are subscribing when we are subscribing we have this thing so let's console.log and response and we will see what will be the response so let's open backend and here on the backend we will go to the controller we have created so that will be reset password controller on the send method i will firstly get whatever will be the request and let's now return dollar request arrow all so this will return that whatever we will send here and then we are console log that things so once more open this and yeah here so bitfumes at one gmail.com reset link and yeah you can see we have this back here that means our front end is successfully send the details here but what we need to do first here so the first thing first we have to check that this email which user has typed is in our database or not or simply the email provided is belongs to any user or not so why not create a new function so public function and call it validate email and this will accept email obviously and here i will say return user which is our user model colon colon where email is dollar email then we will say first so if this is true then then we will get the data otherwise we will not get the data so to make this as a boolean i will use double exclamation mark and this will makes just true or false so here i will say if we have uh, validate email is giving so i need to say this validate email and let's pass request arrow email and if we have this email that's okay but if we don't have the email we have to return a response so let's say return dollar this arrow failed response and we need to define this one also so let's define this method here or function so public function failed response and this will just going to return response of json so here i will define error is like email doesn't so escape that character doesn't found on our 
database so this is done and after that we need to give a response so why not use response of symphony http foundation and colon colon http not found yes this one so this is the failed response we have given so let's check this one so if i give any random email send it and 404 that's okay i think this is exactly we want but what is the response is error email doesn't found on our database that's cool but what if the email is correct so then after if this is not the case we have to say dollar this arrow uh, email and request arrow email so this is the function i need to create once more so let's create that function here public function function email or i think we need to make it send and not email so let's make it send and here it accept email as usual and we need to send the email so i will use this mail facade here colon colon and don't forget to use this at the top here so this to whatever is the email and then after we need to create a new mail label so new mail label but what the mail label we have to create that mail label also so let's now comment this and open backend terminal we will say php artisan make mail make mail and reset password mail and this is actually a mailable so mailable and actually it's not a mailable it's a markdown so markdown is inside email dot password reset so hit enter and this mailable is created here on the mail which is here this is the class the php class and on the resources views email we have this plate file so this is good and now what we need to do uh, save it and here we need to call that one so that's name is reset password mail and here we need to pass the token but we will do the token part later so let's just use this one new reset password mail but here we have to say send reset password mail and this is done so when this is uh, when email is wrong we are using failed response similarly we need to give a success response so it's like success response or success response so let's create that response also similar to this one and here this is going to be success response uh, json here the response code has to be http okay this one and it's not error simple data which is say reset email is send so reset email is send successfully and please check your email check your inbox okay so this is very easy and we have done this thing so let's now verify these things and on our reset mailable where is that here is this one we are using this markdown that's okay so let's try to send this email but for that we need mail trap so mail trap.io so go to this website this will just for checking purpose nothing to do with the production so here we have the inbox so go on the inbox copy user name go to dot env file for our backend and the email configuration mail configuration username is this password is this encryption tls and everything other is okay so let's restart the server which is this one let's try to send the email 
so let's clear here all these things done refresh and give correct email let's see send and it's not doing anything it looks like it's not doing anything but here yeah we are having reset email sent properly and now if i go to mail trap yes we have the email and yes we have this email so these things are good we have to give the token we have to make this text button as a reset button so that user click here land on another page and then he can change the password so all these things in the next coming episodes and if you have liked this episode don't forget to share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone know how to connect angular and laravel and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye